Hello and welcome to a Horizon Productions tutorial in 3ds Max. Uh, be basically creating cloth hitting a table. It can you can use a table if you want. Uh, you can download it at the link to the right of the video in the description. Uh, it should work for any other object you choose. This is what we want to be creating. I created this in my other account. Something like this. And with I've recently had a decent textures and a light, so it should look like this. So fairly realistic result. Okay, once we have our table downloaded and opened, uh, go into our perspective view and set up the perspective camera similar to this, so we can see the base and the all of the uh, top of it. Okay, go into our shapes toolbar, select rectangle and drag the rectangle fairly equally over round the table. In our front view drag it up so it's about a square away from the top. The reason why I'm not using a plane you'll see later uh, is because you just get a better result and it makes it look, look more realistic. Uh, it should become clear later why. Then while selecting our rectangle go into the modified tab select in our list garment maker if you choose a plane you don't have this option and that option just basically creates loads of random squares or random triangles like triangles uh, that m help make up the cloth and makes it look more random as it falls but the plane just cuts up into squares and you won't get a decent enough result we can increase our density a bit 0.2 is good you need quite a powerful computer for going up very high. You can go up to one, but it takes quite a while to render and quite a while, quite a bit, slows down the workflow. Then on our modifiers, we go down to cloth and then select object properties. And the rectangle is already selected. Go click on the rectangle and hit cloth. We can, in the presets, select what type of material we'll be using but I'm just going to leave it as that then go add objects and select our table then go down to bottom highlight collision object we can change any of these but the default seems to be uh, fairly good and then okay and then we can fill around with start frame and end frame depending on how long we want it to be on, going on for and if we want the um, cloth to be colliding with itself but for this particular example we don't want to be filling around with those and once we've been um, happy with what we're doing hit simulate and whilst highlighting process so we can see how it's going so we can stop it if it's not going too well so hit simulate and a box at the top counting through the frames we can see on the um, all the views that it's going through the simulation okay so I'll just skip through most of it and we should be able to play back that fairly well there we, go, there we can so that's looking pretty decent we would probably get a better result since of it um, not that smooth there. So if I just render that and see what it looks like. That looks okay. Might be able to take it up a little bit. If we uh, make, as earlier, density higher, it will make a much better effect, but your rendering time will increase hugely. But that looks pretty good for now. So if we want to finish off our scene by making it an actual scene, create a plane, fairly large. And then move it down so it's touching the base for the table. This will act as our kind of kitchen floor or some kind of floor. 
and highlighting the table I have a um, wood texture you can just go on Google Images uh, hit search wood texture you'll find a decent one apply that to the table I've got a kitchen table again Google Images will do that uh, make that feel uh, cloth and then a kitchen floor texture for the plane so if I render that again it's starting to look reasonably better with textures and to finish it off I'm going to add in our lights panel go to standard and then skylight and then drag it so it's the camera side of the table and then in our modifying tab go down cast shadows and then the higher this razor sample is the more realistic a picture you're going to get but the render time will increase so I'm just going to go 6 for the moment so you can do a low uh, razor sample to start with to see what your animation would look like then when you're doing your final render uh, whack it up so I'm just going to render that a little bit so you can see it's starting to look more realistic and much better see there's the shadows around there are a bit grainy but when you do turn that up they do look much better that's pretty much all it all for this tutorial um, thank you for watching if you have any um, video tutorial requests for After Effects or 3ds Max, uh, please email us. Our email is on our YouTube channel. Or if you have any vision effects queries on both After Effects or 3ds Max, um, again email us. Um, there should be more tutorials on their way. It's nearly rendered. You can kind of see the shadow much better than below the line. It's more smoother. Hey, thanks for watching. That'll do.